So you missed the first two trips? It's okay, because we're doing it again. LA18, together with Taiwan Tourist Bureau, brings you Travel to Taiwan with LA18 Celebrity Part 3. This time, we're going to experience riding in their bullet train, cook Taiwanese dishes, and even fly lanterns. And when we get tired, we are going to relax in a place called Shangri-La. Sounds fun? We're leaving on April 1st. Wag na magpaiwan. Tawag na. I'm excited, but I'm sad. I have mixed feelings because this is the last time that we're ever going to do Travel to Taiwan with LA18. Good thing is, you have a few more days to sign up because we are leaving on April 1st. And I want you to join me as we go all over Taiwan. And take it from Victoria here. She joined us for part two. Victoria, that was an amazing experience for you. Was that, you know, did it reach your expectation, meet your expectations, or did it go beyond your expectation? How was that uh, experience for you? It was beyond my expectation. The tour is very good, so everybody come here and join Jane because Jane is a very well organized person. He well organized the tour, and the hotel is so clean and neat, and also all the food are so good in Taiwan. So come here and join Jane for the part three of Taiwan, part three. Yeah, Jane, thank you so much. But so are you joining us for part three? I might. Yeah, you better think about it because part three is different from part two and part one. What's going to happen for part three? Okay, our tour never be the same. Every time, never duplicate. So, for again, this is a tailor made for travel with a celebrity. So, the part three, we're leaving uh, April 1st because we already traveled the major part. Mm -hmm. So, this part three, we go to travel dips to some uh, small towns. So, in part three, April 1st, we fly. China Airline going to Taipei, take a rest. The next day we take a bullet train. Okay. So you have to experience the bullet train. Maybe you have a lunch box. How during, fast during, is the bullet train? It's about like a two two hundred plus kilometer per hour. So wow. It's nearly three hundred. Yeah. The highest speed is three hundred yeah. kilometer. Oh, I'm yeah. excited to join yeah. that. Uh, yes. to, to try that. Okay, and then and then we're going to Tainan. Mm -hmm. Tainan is the formal capital of Taiwan. And then we go to the shrine, pay some visit to the shrine and temple. And then um, we will stay again. T trust just miss. You go to Taiwan, the tour never complete without hot spring. Yeah. This time course. we are going to do mud spring. Mud spring. Mud spring. Okay, so we need to bring our swimsuit. Yeah. And yes. we need to bring our shower cap. Exactly. <laughs> you remember swimming that. Swimming cap, not shower cap. <laughs> Last time you wanted to wear the shower cap because we didn't have swimming cap. Yes. Yeah, so okay. We're then in the hotel, there is a spa. Relax your soul, relax your mind. Wow. And the next day, we take the bullet train back to Taiwan. We go to Yilan uh -huh. and going to Shangri-La Farm. Okay. It's a European style, the cabin, and they have a lot of activity there, so mm. we can try. The highlight of the tour at night, it's a fly lantern. Yeah, you know, I've been hearing about that. What is, what is it? Is it a cultural thing for you? Or they say you write a wish and then you fly it along mm -hmm. with the lantern? Yeah. Uh, in the past, because I, I, I mean, hundred, couple hundred years ago, and when the people, they live in the mountain area to work, mm -hmm. and some, sometimes they got robbery ah. in between, so they bring the sky lantern. So when they uh, arrive in the city, they fly out, so his family know, oh, I'm safe. Ah. So that, that's the very beginning. Okay. And then after that, it's, it's get, getting better, no robbery, so <laughs> they just write the wishes. Okay. Yeah. See, I told you, Taiwan is rich in culture and tradition. Very interesting. So what is the percentage that if I make a wish, it will come true? <laughs> 95%. 95%. And, but it's okay, I'm safe because the last time we went to this temple, oh, yeah, the and we also temple, made wishes, we made the right? Wishes, the yes. predictions. So yes. we made it, and you got the best of the best. Yeah, I got the best, best of, of the, the best. best. Did you hear that? Yeah. So I have good fortune. <laughs> okay, Jane, what else are we going to okay, do? After that, the uh, following day, the highlight, it's for the previous trip, we buy a lot of presents, and when I came back, sometimes I, I saw, oh, I miss count so-and-so. Uh -huh. So this time, I want to, since this is a finale tour, uh -huh. I want to leave some uh, not fading memory for the people, so we have a private cooking tour. Private cooking, cooking class. Tour. What is your favorite Taiwanese dish? Maybe we can learn to cook that. Well, actually, not I very complicated. No, no. <laughs> okay. Actually, my favorite is stinky tofu. Oh, okay. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah. Are we gonna look? You know, we should learn how to make stinky tofu. Oh, that one just. Oh, I don't know. That one is uh, like a blue cheese. Right. Yeah. You're, why are you shaking your <laughs> nose? Maybe not a good idea. Just <laughs> very powerful smell. You know what? So, I also love stinky tofu. Actually. Yeah. 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 yeah we are going to make a couple of uh, signature dishes. Mm -hmm. I can. I, I don't want to talk about here, so you can learn. Travel with us, so you will learn. Yes. It's ordinary dishes. We we will make the extraordinary. Wow. And also, Victoria, you can also shop for pasalubong for your friends and family in the Philippines when you go to the Philippines, correct? Ano mga, do you remember what you bought? I know we, we did a lot of shopping at the night market, at the mall. Oh, I buy a lot of uh, souvenirs. Yeah, souvenirs souvenir from Taiwan yeah. that don't, they don't have in the Philippines and also some clothing cheaper. Yeah, cheaper. So I buy some. Let me just say that I bought uh, pajamas in the night market. <laughs> And even to this day, that was the first store, even to this day, I still wear it, wow. right? And then I also bought two designer, uh, two dresses from Taiwanese designers. They're very creative. I bought it at the mall. And even to now, when I wear it, I always get complimented. Thank you so much, Russ, for making this possible mm -hmm. for us to tour Taiwan. Okay. Go Good ahead and invite our viewers. Uh, it's uh, the last time, normally it's the, just like graduation because part one is part two and so welcome. So it's, this part three becomes the ankle tour and also it's the graduation tour. So be with us and uh, it's now or never. It's now or never. That's the number to call on the screen for your reservations. We're leaving April 1st. Get on it now. Thank you. Thank you so much and more power to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you.